No, it's okay, good. having tensed an RP, reduce pressure back flow preventer. First take your vent hose, put it somewhere so that the water doesn't get all over you. Put the line in there. Next thing you want to do is, assuming the water from the building is on, notify management, you're going to be shutting the water down. Shut the water off. First test we're going to do is the relief valve. The relief tent. So we're going to attach our high hose to test cock number one, two. We're going to attach our low hose to test cock number three. Open the low pressure zone first to uh, less impact on the gauge. Open the high pressure zone. Let it bleed out a little. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to close high. Close low, close vent, and then we're going to open high, and then we're going to put our hand underneath the relief vent, we're going to open low just a little bit, so that the needle starts to drop slowly, and this must dump at 2 PSID or greater. And you can see it stopped there and it started to dump at about 2.4 PSID, so that's a pass. Test cocks. Just open this up, let it bleed out again. Okay, next test we're going to do is spring tension of check valve number two. So, low hose, test cock four. High hose, test, test cock three. Always open the high pressure zone first, rather the low pressure zone first. Then the high pressure zone. Clean the air out of the gate. And then close high. Close low. And close vent. And here we have to have a reading of one psid or greater. As you can see, it's actually below. So this has actually failed this check valve, and that needs to be serviced. But for the remainder of the test, we'll assume that it's passed, and it is one PSID or greater, so we'll continue. Close the test cocks. Oh, this has to hold for two minutes at one or greater. Once it does that, so let's assume that it's hold, held for two minutes. Show the test cocks. The next test we're going to do is spring tension loss of check valve number one. So. High hose back to test cock two. Low hose to test cock three. Open low. Open high. Let it bleed. Close high. Close low. Close back. And our spring tension loss is 7.4 PSID. And to get our buffer zone, we're going to subtract what the relief vent dumped at, which was 2.4. So we have approximately 4. Point, well, it's greater than 3, so that it's a pass. Next thing we're going to do is just do a static pressure test. So we're going to attach the static gauge uh, to test cut number one. Open test cock one. Bleed it up. 